What's up, everybody? Ron Blue back again with another video for you guys. Listen, Mary J. Blige just dropped a song right off the heels of the trailer of uh, the Super Bowl halftime show, and it's called Rent Due. So, uh, or I'm sorry, it's called Rent Money. So, uh, featuring Dave East, and I'm a, a pretty huge fan of Dave East. We all know what Mary brings to the table, so I'm just eager to get into this. Um, I believe she's dropping an album pretty soon too. So it's just perfect timing for her. Like, this is just like the second win that she's about to get for the people that whoever may not know her will know her after, especially the Super Bowl. But let's see what, let's see what she, uh, brings musically. Let's see, let's see if she still got it, guys. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, it is called Rent Money featuring Dave East. It's off of Good Morning Gorgeous, which will be the album, I'm assuming. It definitely is, because I actually see uh, another single titled Good Morning Gorgeous. <laughs> so here we go. Good morning, gorgeous. This isn't though, this is bullet. I just want back while I'm holding to this. And then I'll keep moving. All of my chips on the table. And I never got what I came for. Not even till I am stable. I spend everything on you. Spend my energy on you. But that little tea on you. And I ain't got nothing left. I love, love, love the beat. Sometimes less is more. I don't know if the beat is going to drop uh, eventually, uh, considering that they do have a rapper, you know, uh, Dave East on here. Uh, so, but I'm telling you, like, sometimes less is more. And you hear it with this because she's like, she's able to switch mid, like, mid song and oh man it's just a lot of space where you can be really creative and i love producers that like produce with the artist in mind because it really kind of complements the artist and have them stand out even more this is what it's doing right now for me and we're not even a full we're 58 seconds in so not even a full minute in let's continue uh -huh. Mm. So risky, it's so risky because now with production and how intricate it can be, it's so risky to just give you the bare minimum and it still works like like the placement of that trumpet was just like so ah oh, man like is is uh it's hard to explain that feeling that you get um when you know you have like a, a genius producer behind this i'm gonna see who actually produced this but let's go back a little bit so you can hear the placement because it's not it's not like right on the on the beat. It's just it's so off, but it it, it fits, man. It, it it just adds that much more echo to a bare room, but it kind of works if you're a minimalist. Ah, I hope I'm wording this correctly, but man, I don't, I'm really tripping right now. Let's let's do it. Fucking with you. I just want back what I can't wait. Ain't no sis, probably no shit. Holding a finger and thing. 
I just love that instant change, like, oh. And then the space to go right back into, go back into that chorus is insane. I like it. Like, it goes into that, like, that, uh, you must be used to be spending and all that sweet dining and then. Like that's that's where your mind goes if you know a little bit of R and B, especially nineties R and B. It kind of takes you there, but then it kind of jerks you right back in to her song Rent Money. So let's see. I, I feel like Dave East is coming up next. <laughs> Money do tang a race, spell a gin and juice, mm. feeling like I'm snuck phone now. She recording just so she could get the proof. It was all good when we was in the mood, but I scratched that. Nothing on me regular. Louis Vuitton backpack, chinks on, she ain't got on, she gotta match that. Focused on the future, I don't backtrack. That rent money do I take crack, cash debit, even cash at these be spending hundreds, be stashed at. It's hard to trust them. I want to stab that. Now I'm just looking past that. I hope you got your own. No more ask me where your cab at. Ask me what I'm mad at. Smoke it and then I pass that. You know what I liked about Dave East's uh, verse was I thought I honestly thought that again, like I said earlier, like a beat was gonna come and drop for him. I mean, he rapped over uh, without a kick in sight. You, he rapped over a a song without a kick, and I mean, like. And I feel like that's becoming the trend, like underground, like Rock Marciano, uh, uh, Ransom, you know, all those underground people that are from um, New York or have some type of New York uh, background uh, has that ha they they rap with like literal like sample loops, like there's no kick to it. If you guys don't know who these people are, look them up. They will change your life when it comes down to uh, straight up lyrics, hardcore hip hop. It is dope. I'm telling you, Griselda is a nice introduction to a slew of all of them. Uh, sh shout out to uh, Shay Noir. Uh, she has a project that just came out too. That doesn't go under my radar. I'm going to check that out tonight, guaranteed. But I'm just rambling right now because this is about Mary. Uh, let's continue. I mean, but Dave did a really good job, you know, rapping over a kickless, you know, a non-hip-hop beat. You know what I mean? Sometimes it can be very difficult to attack a, a song like this. And to figure out what you're going to talk about, too. Of course, d Mile, man. d Mile is literally, I'm telling you, he is, he has a chokehold on hip hop when it comes down to, I meant to R, of R&B when it comes down to, uh, producing like d Mile is everywhere d Mile 85 is his instagram tag follow him this dude is just this this dude man shout out to d Mile, man this dude just don't stop man this is crazy <laughs> it makes so much sense now it makes it, it it brings it full circle now Love the trumpet. Love the trumpet. It just adds so much more abstract to such a a jazzy type of beat. Oh, and the key. Oh man. Oh, oh man. 
D Mile, man, you did it again, dude. Now, if you guys don't know who D Mile is, he is a frequent collaborator with Lucky Day. I feel like with them doing work and music together, they can never go wrong. He's done work for Bruno Mars and Anderson Pax Silk Sonic. I mean, this dude is just. I'm really tripping out right now because it makes perfect sense. Like, only him. Like, only him. Like, anybody else would have would have made, took the song somewhere else and it's not necessarily bad but when you think outside the box you come out with something like this gotta love it mary is on a on a good track right now to i mean like she has classics i mean there's no absolutely no denying it she has classics she's a legend she's a titan in the industry she's everything above um but i mean to keep producing at this level good music is extremely hard to do when you've been in the game for like 30 years that's insane to me it's insane but she is doing it she's doing it flawlessly she seems to reverse an age so shout out to mary um i'm excited to see the super bowl uh performance so look guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to like share and subscribe to my channel this is the only channel where you're gonna get guitar lessons, guitar covers, reaction videos, unboxings, and so much more interviews coming very, very soon. I'm working that out for you guys. It's gonna be some very special guests on here. Um, hey, look, until next time, peace. And thank you all for all the subscribers that I have. Thank you all for subscribing to my channel. Um, make sure you hit that bell notification button so you know when I drop these videos. Until next time, peace.